Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're talking sex and algebra one half third edition. So it's that blue book. Uh, we're talking about ratios and proportions and then P to the Q power or the Q root of P. First things first, this is our first example. We have ratios and proportions. Okay, taking a look at this problem, there's two ways that we can do it. I'll show you the first one. We can see that we can reduce this. If we divide by five, we get four. Divide by five here, we get three. So our new proportion that we have is four over three equals four over X. In that case, it's pretty easy to determine what X equals. X equals three. So that's kind of nice if you can do something like that. However, it doesn't always work out that way. Uh, in cases like this, I can't easily reduce anything. So what I have to do is cross multiply. This is, don't confuse this with cross canceling. This is cross multiplying. You do cross multiply when you have fraction equals fraction. And the way we do that is we say, okay, five times P is five P equals four times seven, which is 28. Then we, to get P by itself, we're currently multiplying and the opposite of multiply is to divide. So we divide both sides and we end up with P equals 28 over five. Now at this point, can we reduce it any further? Nope, we cannot. 28, five does not go into 28. So we leave it just like that and that is our answer. So we could have done the same thing up here when we had 20 over 15 equals four over X. We could have cross multiplied to say 20 X equals 15 times four would be 30 times two, which is 60, divide both sides by 20, divide both sides by 20, X equals, lob these off, six divided by two gives us three. Do you see, you end up with the answer the same way. Just keep that in mind. Uh, if you can make it a little easier on yourself, try and do that. All right, uh, evaluating the cube root of P if P equals eight. So this is asking us, hey, what's the cube root of eight? Now, if you have not done so already, here are, your pause the video write these down perfect squares perfect cubes perfect fours what we're looking for is the cube root of eight so we're looking for something cubed that gives us eight well if i do two to the third power that would give us eight and the cube root of two to the third power these guys cancel out and i'm left with two uh okay so let's look at this if we have p to the third power so it's two to the third power then we would have two times two, which is four times two, which is eight. And so our answer would be eight there. Okay, let's take a look at some more of these examples so you can see. Uh, if we have uh, x to the y power, if x is four and y is three, so four to the third power. If we do that, you can either look at your cheat sheet or you can know four times four is 16 times four, we end up with 64. What about if p is, th so three and then Q is 64, the cube root of three. So we look at our cheat sheet under our perfect cubes and we look for 64 and we see, oh, hey, four to the third power, four to the third power gives us 64. So four to the third is the same as 64. These cancel out and I'm left with, oops, there we go, cancel out and I'm left with four. All right, here are your practice problems. Ooh, that was pretty close. There are your practice problems. Do those, come on back, uh, pause the video, do those, come back and then We'll go over them. Okay, those are the answers for your practice problems. If you did not get those, stick around and we will talk about how you can. All right, so here's these practice problems. We can cross multiply here. We get uh, 7p equals four times two would give me eight. Divide both sides by seven, seven. P equals eight over seven. Now over here, same idea. S times three gives me three S equals four times five, which is 20. Divide both sides by three. S equals 20 over three because there's nothing I can do to reduce that. All right, X, Y, if X is four and Y is two, if we evaluate that, we would get four squared, which would give us 16. And then we have uh, fourth root of 16. So we go back and we look at our fourth root and we see, okay, in the fourth root, if we have two to the fourth power, that gives us 16. So the fourth root of two to the fourth power, cancel, cancel, we end up with two. Good work. If you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.